Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today we're back with y'all for another video. Today we're back and we're doing a little bit of a washing video because these two dolls that I got from the holidays are a mess and they definitely need some hair help because the issues are just not fun. Bella has a full hair head of hair gel and you can just hear it, it's gross. Miss Emma Emo only has some hair gel in the front, but I think the rest of the hair could be washed a little bit too. It's kind of just gross box hair. So I'm gonna do that with y'all because why not? It's fun. I think it'll be relaxing maybe, who knows. But the first thing that I'm gonna do with these dolls is remove all of their clothing and accessories as I don't want any of it to get washed. Um, It'll get lost in the drain. I don't want to get any of this wet. It's super, super gorgeous and I'd rather just keep it intact and dry. So I'm gonna meet y'all at the sink and we'll be right back. So already at the sink, we have both beauties. Um, for the tween, Miss Emma, I'm gonna keep her hair in the ponytail just because I don't wanna get the bangs mixed up. I also have my brushes today. I have the fine tooth comb and I got this dog brush from the dollar store and I've been seeing it all over TikTok and Twitter and I wanna use it a little bit more. I've used it a couple times, but I haven't really noticed anything too crazy of a difference, but people are going like crazy over this brush and I definitely wanna try it out. I do have my normal um, shampoo and conditioner that I'll be using as well. When I'm washing all the hair gel out of the dolls with the hair, like, you know, gel like this, I like to start off with some warm water just to kind of get it loosened up, and then I'll eventually go in with my shampoo and conditioner. Um, so nothing too crazy, really, just doing my normal procedures. Dolls are now drying. When I have my Rainbow High dolls drying, um, especially after, you know, washing them and putting them through water, I like to make sure that they are able to dry with every part of their limbs able to get air. Um, I don't want to create any mold within their joints because the joints are, again, very complicated. You can kind of see them, like, right here. Um, and I've heard people get mold within Rainbow High dolls, so I'm just gonna, you know, take the precaution and just have them be posed a little bit weird. Um, and Emma Emo's, her little, um, hair band fell out, so I just decided to take it out because I wanted to redo the ponytail anyway i might straighten her hair to be honest because you know seen hair was always straight but i don't know i kind of like the curls so i'm gonna let them dry overnight and i'll be back with y'all in the morning to see what happens i'm also not sure if i'm gonna take out bella's tinsel because you can see how, how like gross it looks in the back um i'm gonna see how it dries with the you know the regular nylon hair and we'll go from there but if her, i come back tomorrow and she has no tinsel that's what happened but maybe i'll go with you guys who knows ah she fell so the dolls are all done drying and I styled some of the hair. I guess I'll go with the BTW first because she's a little bit smaller, but I did Emma Emo's hair a little bit differently. I just kind of put some, I put a lot of pins or I guess like clips in her hair because I wanted her to have a more seen style. We only got two clips and I think it turned out really nicely. Um, I did give her a little wrap around with the ponytail because I feel like her ponytail was a little bit needed. And I think I made the ponytail a little bit higher up um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm happy that her hair isn't crunchy, and I did have to separate her bangs because without the gel, these bangs were really thick on her head, and they just made her look kind of weird. So I'm, I just kind of, like, separated them with the clips again. Um, and I think she looks super, super cutesy. I love how she turned out, and I'm so happy that her hair is soft now. It doesn't feel, like, rock hard. And for Miss Bella, I was actually super happy with how the tinsel dried because in the last clip that I showed, her tinsel was kind of just, like, coming out of her head, but it kind of, you know, blended it. I mean, it doesn't look... Okay, it looks better in person, I promise y'all. Um, but her hair, yeah, like, it looks a little bit weird here, but, like, it's fine. Everyone be quiet. But her hair is really nice. I did a little, like, bang thing to, like, you know, put them out of her face, because I really, 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 really wanted to make sure that her makeup was, you know, in the full like throttle and i think bella turned out super cutesy i love little like waves that you know came out of her hair i didn't really recurl it because i'm lazy and um i'm honest so i don't know i'm just happy with how they both turned out and i'm happy that there's no more crunchy hair and i think they both turned out really nicely and i'm super excited to add them both to my shelves and to you know get them into my collection yeah that was really it for this video it was very small short you know just washing dolls with me um it was really much it was so much fun though hanging out with you guys you guys definitely motivated me to actually clean these dolls because sometimes when i get new dolls and like batches like for christmas i just don't really wash them all and like sometimes i just like put it off so i'm like happy that i actually did it this time and i definitely have some other dolls i have to wash so yeah thank you guys again so 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 much for watching this video and hanging out with me today it was so much fun and i love you all so very much have a great night love you bye Mwah.